Hi again. Uh, here we are to talk about Xcode and continue our mock-up. Um, I'm going to rearrange my mock-up here a little bit. Um, you know, uh, you, you know, and that's pretty easy to do. Like once you're in here, you know, you, you know, once you've built everything, you know, you can reset these these segues. Um, and what I'd like to do now is I'd like to kind of mock this up maybe as a simple project, and then also talk about another item that I haven't covered yet, which is the bar button. So when you have a navigation bar, if you want to put buttons up here, um, you can do that. But it has to be a special button. You can't use the regular button. It's got to be the, uh, the bar button item, which is down at the bottom here. Bar button item, OK? So uh, what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to rearrange how this whole thing works. And this will be like a little bit of a review on how to connect things together with uh, segues. So first thing is, you know, this is my navigation controller. And um, I'm going to disconnect it from the login screen, OK? And then I'm going to disconnect this uh, modal view and the, um, the list, the table view, right? OK? And so I'll, I'll leave these two connected, because I want you to be able to click on this and go to a detail screen. Really, this is going to be um, different later. But uh, for right now, we'll, we'll use these two, OK? so. Let me move this login screen and put it down here. And let me move these over a little bit. OK. And the idea here is that um, this area of the app at the top here, right, these three elements, so the navigation controller, the table view, and this detail view, these are going to be the main app. And then the two views down here at the bottom are, um, are modal views. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bar button that says Login to show the login screen. And then these will just be connected with the regular um, you know, navigation controller. So you'll be able to tap on the, the table view cell to go to this detail view. And then it'll have a back button that takes us back here. And that'll be, imagine that as the main app. And then, um, you know, if you tap on the login button, it will take you to the login screen. Like the login screen will pop up in front, right, as a modal view. And then we can put it away. So, uh, so let's give that a try. So first of all, let's zoom in here. You can't make connections when you're zoomed out. So, uh, so we're going to zoom back in. And what I need to do is I need to connect my navigation controller with the table view. And let's also make sure that the navigation controller has the entry point, right? So it has this little arrow on it. And if it doesn't have that and you don't know where the arrow is, select the navigation controller. Go to the, um, or actually select this view controller here. And go to the, um, the property inspector. And where it says view controller um, underneath the title, check the box that says is initial view controller, and that will give it the arrow. Okay. So now let's connect the view controller with this table view. Now the idea is the view controller has to have a root view, and the root view is the main view, the default view, the first view that's displayed in the navigation controller. So the, the navigation controller, we don't normally see it. Instead, it displays a view on top like this, okay? So we need to give it a root view, okay? And I want that to be this table view. So what I'll do is I'll control drag or right click and drag from the navigation controller over to the table view and choose relationship segue root view controller, okay? And then that will give you a segue connecting the two that looks like this. It's like a little barbell, okay? And that's a relationship segue. Okay, so now these two are related. And then I have this other connection here, which, you know, goes from this table view cell to this one. You could connect other, you know, cells to different views or even like, you know, this view could be also be connected to the same detail view for the, for the example, you know. Um, I'm not going to connect them all, um, you know, because this is just a demo, right? So, uh, you know, I'll just connect one just to show the idea. I mean, you know, if you're going to really build the app, we do a little more with this and we'd approach it a little bit differently. Um, this is just to do a mock-up and show 
you know, how an app might function. So if you wanted to design an app and then kind of demo it and check the interaction and show the interaction to your team, um, this is how you might do it um, with Storyboard and, and Xcode, right? So, um, so that's kind of our goal here, right? So anyway, so let's give that a test, right? I'll click Run. So I can click the first one here, the first one in Section B, right? Okay, so there's our there's our table view, and I can click on this, and then we go to the detail view, and I've got my back button. And then I can go here, right? So now, let's add a bar button item. And what I want to do is I want to open up the login view with the bar button item. Okay, so I want to open up the login view by, by tapping login up here. So remember, um, if you're in, in the nav bar, um, you can add a button, but it has to be um, a bar button item. So this it's this one here that says bar button item. It's down at the bottom of the list, okay? Um, and it, you can click on it, and it'll say UI bar button item. Any moment now, hopefully. Oh, there it is, UI bar button item, right? So what we'll do is we'll drag this and put it on the bar here, okay? And the bar button item, you can give it a couple options here in the property inspector. You can say custom, and you can give it a tint color. You can make it red, right? Um, I'll go back to the default color, um, which I think is this one, right? Actually, for, oh, there it is, yeah, okay. So you, or you can give it any color you want, right? Um, we'll just stick with that, right? And then um, there's also a system item, and the system item are the default bar button items that are built into the um, the Coco Touch framework, right? And so you can make it an add button that looks like a little plus sign. You could make it, you know, edit. You could make it, you know, done or whatever, right? We want to make it say login. So I'm going to go up to custom, and then. Um, you know, you can set the title here. You can actually just double click it and change the text, right? Right, like that. You got to double click it a couple times. Or you can actually set the text here under title. So I'll say log in, right? And if you have a picture, you can put a, an image in there. Maybe I'll do that later. For this, I want it to say log in, though. So I don't, I'm not going to use the picture, okay? So anyway, so there's our button. And if we want to connect that button to something, we do it the same way we do everything else. We'll just right click and or control click and drag to the element that we want. I have to move this view up here so I can see it, right? So I'll put it up there a little closer. I don't have enough sc screen space on my laptop. Um, so I'll control drag from the login button over to this other view. And we want to show this one modally. It's going to pop up in front of the current view. So I'll choose uh, Present Modally, right? And then I'll have my modal, you know, um, segue here. It looks like an empty box, right? And then I maybe I want uh, you to be able to enter your username and password. And when you click Login, I'll want it to close the modal box, right? So to close it, what I'll do is I'll, I'll Control Drag from the Login button back up to the other view and choose dismiss. So you remember the dismiss is working because we added the dismiss segue swift in the last video, okay? So let's give it a try now. So here's how our app is gonna work. We're gonna click run. And then here we are in the app. And if I, you know, I want to go to a detail view, I can do that. But maybe I want to log in now. I can click on the login button, and the login view appears in front. And then, you know, I could type in my username, uh, name, wait, name and password. And then I can click the login button here, and then the view will go away, right? So remember, that's just a demo, but it illustrates the idea. So maybe you want to, you know, explain that to your team or kind of, you know, uh, test that kind of interaction like there's a simple way to do it, okay? Um, so anyway, so thanks for watching. And maybe in the next video, we're going to add a, um, a sign-up screen so we can alternate between the login and the sign-up screen, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's helpful for you guys, okay?